This is my car. This is my 1965 Volkswagen Type 1 Beetle, affectionately called Rusty. As you can see, it's a pretty original car. Uh, I pulled this out of a field uh, out of Monroe, Washington. Uh, a young man and his father had uh, kind of done a little bit of work to it, and uh, I was the winning bidder on eBay for this guy. Brought it home and it's been part of our family ever since. This car will never leave my family. Uh, if you ask my kids, they fight over who's, uh, who's gonna get it when I die. The joke's on them, I'm being buried in it. We've actually gone through the entire car, the interior is new, the headliner's new, little bits and pieces. Uh, I had a good friend of mine, Larry, build me this super bitchin' motor for this thing. We dropped it down a little bit more, threw some 17-inch wheels and tires on it, and, and we just drive it. That's the beauty of this car. Um, some of the other vehicles you've seen us deal with are you know, high-end and badass and all this, but uh, nothing can compare to the feeling I get when I hop in this car and drive. You know, there's no aids, there's no audio. Well, there's audio, it's one little tiny speaker that's, you know, water damaged and doesn't really work anyway, but uh, there's just a feeling that you get when you, when you have nothing but you and a motor purring down the road, and that's what this car brings to me. It's peace, it's, it's serenity. All right, well, I guess that's enough about that. I'm gonna get behind the wheel here. We're gonna cruise down and pick up Ian Gordon. He's my shop foreman down there at 503 Motoring. Uh, been with me about 10 years now, and uh, he likes burgers too, so we're gonna go get one. Dad. Want to go some lunch? I'd love to. It's romantic. <laughs> this is uh, Ian Gordon, my right hand man, IG from the 503 on Instagram. So, uh, one of the things I love about Ian working for me is um, he too is a lover of weird <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> Not like Shiza videos. Whoa! Uh, I don't know, German car. But he's got probably the dopest Lincoln I've ever seen in my life. Uh, the thing is so dope. <laughs> it had like 2,000 original miles on it. What is yeah. it, a 79? 79, Mark V, Collector Series, and uh, Midnight Metallic Blue. <laughs> it's now 4,500 mm, Mystic original Mountain miles. Blueberry. <laughs> it's my fave. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so driving that thing back from California was rad. It was like driving your grandmother's couch. It's the exact you know? opposite of this car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't like Rusty? I love, no, I do. How do you not like I, Rusty? The thing that I like about Rusty is, um, this is the pinnacle of comfort and technology. I mean, we, we work on some pretty amazing stuff. We have some great clients with like, the hottest cars in the world, right? That sounded really staged, by the way. But it wasn't. <laughs> but it sounded pretty really stage. I, uh, I, just, for, just for the record, this I'm is just not saying a that because it's not Coca-Cola can in my hand. This car is the exact, you know, juxtaposition to that, yeah. right? But you drive this car next to any of the cars that we work with, and this one gets more mm -hmm. thumbs up. It gets more people, you know, acknowledging this car because I think no matter who you, who you are, you've had a Volkswagen, a bug story. I like that the seats have shocks, but the car doesn't. Right. <laughs> right? That's the best part. It's like riding on a bike that has the Springer seat. Well, your bike doesn't have a seat. You just... Oh, never mind. Cornering is amazing in this thing. No yeah. bolsters. It's like on rails. Wait, hold on. Watch this. Oh, I that was like 37. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you said too soon. Too, <laughs> too soon, Junior. Too soon. Hmm. Pop quiz. Yeah. What was the... Original motor in a 1965 Beetle. 1200. Eh. 1065. 1738. <laughs> uh, no, it was a 1300. It, ah, it was actually the first year of the 1300, which did boost the output to a whopping 40 horsepower. Is there a heater in this thing? Let me turn on the heat. <laughs> Light a candle. Dude, this thing will cook your ass out of here. I, I shit you not. The heat on this thing, when, it, when Volkswagen heat works, you can cook a ham. <laughs> Dare Hammond. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I just uh, frizzled you. The You smell that? Ah, that's the heater working. <laughs> so, tell me. <laughs> it smells a lot like exhaust. 
No, 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 no. Pay no attention to that. That's, that, that's heat. That's when you know it's good. Jim. Where does the heat in this car come from? Is it the exhaust? Well, it's air cooled, right? So it's the hot exhaust. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but it's not the hot exhaust. There's a, a <laughs> baffle that wraps around the hot exhaust tube. And then since these are air cooled, there's a giant fan. And that fan blows over those air tubes and forces the heat inside. It's math, I think. Okay, so back to uh, the Lincoln and why I like driving it is because... <laughs> it's only taken 40 minutes to get yeah. the story out. Um, and, and I think it refers to every driver who drives something different that you may not understand. It's that feeling that that person gets when they're driving that car, right? Yeah. So this car to you is the same as the feeling that I get driving my Lincoln. Like it just fits. It makes your pants tight. Yeah, yeah. You get, you get Thanksgiving pants. S snug shorts. Mm. Um, the McLaren guy that drives the McLaren and the BMW guy, you know, that feeling is, it's like explaining a religious experience in a way. You can't use words to describe that feeling that you get, but you know that it's there, you know? And that to me is what I love about being in the car business in general, is helping people foster that feeling that they get when they drive their car. You know, listening to you tell that really long story, <laughs> um, it reminded me of a joke. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Tell me. What's the difference between a porcupine and BMW owner? Oh, I know this one, but I'll, I'll let you punchline it. Sorry. Oh, I don't know. I just, uh, I thought it, you know the punchline? I, I do. You want it? <laughs> yeah, I let's hear it. know it. All the pricks are on the inside. <gasps> oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Full disclaimer, none of us own BMWs, so it's we apologize for any of those of you that do. Well, no, literally, we apologize. <laughs> So sorry. What's up? Oh. I really, I really love the looks that you get in this car. Like literally, going back to that again, people are like, "What the f is that thing? <laughs> and how is it running on its own power right now?" Hi, buddy. Hi. He waved. He did wave. Hell yeah, he waved. One person didn't hate us today. Oh, there's, there's one. It's all, all you need is one, really, right? I mean, that's how armies are started. That was very deep. I do that. Mm. I do that I, from time to time. <laughs> I can rub the two nickels together and get a thought. So where are we going for lunch? Humdinger, which is just fun to say. What are you, did you just fart? No, that was the floor pan made a noise. Well, it's because oh, it's hear it? not really a floor pan. It's like termites holding hands. Hear it? Which really doesn't make a lot of sense because it's metal and not wood, but it sounds funny. Got but it. Why, what are you, you, it's not a pop can, bro. What are you doing? It feels a lot like a pop can under my okay. foot. It kind of is like a pop can, but. Hey, how's it going? She hates you. What's the top speed on this guy? 12. Well, no, 37. We just did it back there. You had a peg? Yeah. Did the floor make noise? <laughs> <laughs> you can't actually push the accelerator too hard because the floor pan underneath it is rusted to the point. So it's, you know. You don't want to like shove it through. Does the stereo work? No. Cars with just one thing. It does. Day it's is a Christmas miracle. Remember, when batteries are. Uh, why car business for you? Why? Wait, why I missed a the in that. Why? 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 Why, why, why car? Why car for you? <laughs> How? Um. You want to take this on the freeway? No. Yeah, let's do it. No. Why not? I don't. I can feel the ground through it. Hey, if you're gonna die, might as well die fast, right? If you're gonna die, die in something German and Duh. old. Helga. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Are we really going on the freeway? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. When I was a kid, I just. You know, I just knew I was going to have my own business someday. I didn't really realize what, and I guess I didn't at the time realize it was going to be in cars. Um, but I loved cars. My whole room was, you know, what was the what was Tony Katane? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
You know, that's why we're friends, buddy. <laughs> I don't even need to say it, you know it. <laughs> oh, Tani. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. It's green, you can go. <laughs> I like how Volkswagen has keenly put the shift points on the actual speedometer. That's ahead of its time. It really was. Gets rid of an extra gauge. Yep. We're at 45, 47, 48. What's going on know. right now? Wind buffeting right now. Oh no, this thing is streamlined, bro. We're cutting through the wind like nobody's business. 53 miles an hour. I'm gonna turn the wiper off so it doesn't fly off. We're officially in fourth gear. It's in fourth gear now. Crank this some bitch up. It feels like when you're doing five, to be honest with you. You know, old Rust Oleum does quite well on the highways. Yeah. I've taken it to Seattle and back a couple times, and he'll cruise along 70 miles an hour on the freeway, no problem. Downhill. With a tailwind. And not so much man <laughs> in here. <laughs> it's a rule I live by. Less man. Less man, more horsepower. Yeah, less man. A little less man in your life. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. <laughs> oh sweet <laughs> lord. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Yep, good. <laughs> We're good. We're good. So this is how you here. This is how you adjust the heat. This is warmer. <laughs> this is colder. And then in the summer, you roll this sucker. You you open this lever all the way, and then you open this dampener here, and it lets more. In. Oh, now it's really cold. Holy! You flip it all the way around yeah. like that. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Abort. It's cold. That's the old German junk cooler. Yeah. Yeah, that's second gear grabber. Yeah. Yeah. Got this sweet ass original Gene Berg shifter. With all the performance, it's good that it's like that pistol grip style. Yeah, well I don't like in a in an aggressive ship shift, shift, I want to make sure that my hand oh here we got some rain. I think this thing has wipers. Wiper. Wiper. <laughs> got one. Um, and it's doing a really amazing job right now. Aren't you worried about it getting rusty? Uh, nah. That's the thing I like about this car too. Everyone always asks me, well, are you at least gonna clear coat it? I'm like, no. This is my ever evolving project, right? Size tires on this? I don't know, 17 something. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think you might have 235s on it actually. I got a really? big old fat ass in the back. Oh. A bit of hydroplane. Ah! God. <laughs> 40 horses of fury, baby. Actually, this thing I think has about 55, 57 horsepower on it. The motor that Larry built for it is amazing. 83 uh, millimeter jugs, Molly one or uh, Molly 83 millimeter jugs, angle 110 cam, crop straight cut gears, little pick 28 single carb on it. It does pretty good. Uh, Larry, who's Larry? Larry of the North, Larry Govin, the OG Volkswagen dude, man. He built this motor for Rusty. It's the third motor that I've had in this car. And this thing just, not from from uh, Larry. Larry is the final motor that's been put in the car. And the thing just purrs like a kitten, man. The motor just works exactly as it's supposed to. And for me, you know, you're talking about the things that you love about the Lincoln and stuff. For me, a Vol a, an original air-cooled motor is like a piece of artwork. And uh, when when one is tuned and dialed in the way that it's supposed to be, God, man, they just they sound so amazing. They just have this you know resonation to them that is just amazing. So anyway, we're here, man. Let's go eat. I'm oh, dinger. Starving. All right, guys. Thanks for watching behind the wheel. If you liked what you saw. If there's somebody you want to see on the episode or there's a vehicle you'd like to see us feature, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and watch these extra episodes we've got on this side over here. Have a great day.